Okay, so we've got our AMD6 uh, K6 board wired up here. We've got a hard drive on a dirty old ribbon cable sitting on a heat sink. This is a Fireball. I believe it has Windows 95, 98, something on it. Um, we've got VGA, legacy connectors for keyboard and mouse. Got our switch ready. I did put the original heat sink back on the K6. And of course the all important P2, P1, P3 setup is correct. Let's go ahead and flip the switch on our power supply. And looks like we've got wake up LED. Right, I hear a hard drive. Fan on the power supply is going. But at this point, I don't see any display. So let me hit the button here. And the only thing I'm not confident on with this particular board is. Um, the switch setup because I have it plugged in there but it may actually go over here uh, I did not take a, any pictures or anything of that when I disassembled it um, the other thing is I hope the monitor is plugged in all the way so let's check all that and start again okay here we go trial number two I've switched the switch around <laughs> let's go ahead and turn it on we've got juice Hard drive LED came on. I can hear the platter moving. This time, no LED lights on the switch base here, so I'll go ahead and hit that button to see if that does anything. Doesn't seem to do a thing. So I'm guessing I had the correct switch configuration there. Uh, now again, being absent from the original case, honestly, I don't know what else there's really anything else missing uh, and we're not showing any display to BIOS. I did confirm that the cable there was a little loose. I'll tighten this down a little bit. Got some action going on in the hard drive which makes me feel like it's trying to boot. But Again, no display. Let's just see if digital. Let's see if we can. There we go. All right, it was just on the wrong input. So it's running scan disk. So we at least know for sure that the board works. Um, didn't get in the setup mode, but that's okay. Um, so that's really encouraging. Let's go ahead and uh, let it run through ScanDisk and see if we can get this uh, the Soul Mobo booting. All right, so it is booting up to Windows 98, which I think is probably appropriate for this particular board. Seems to be booting up pretty quickly. Sorry about that. We'll just go ahead and turn the flash off there. A little bit clearer picture. And again, you'll have to forgive the monitor. It's not the cleanest one I have. It's certainly better than the others, but uh, my five-year-old uses this for her computer, so it's a little smudgy. All right, once we get into 98 here, we should be able to take a look at our specs on the board. So I know we've got for sure at least two 128 sticks of PC-133. Uh, that PC100 stick there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how big that is. It looks like uh, 64 meg. Uh, so we've got a total of just over 300 meg. Um, not terrible. A little low, but uh, Windows 98 should handle that just fine. I am kind of curious because it was a little hard to read the specs on the processor. Uh, what our processor speed is looking like. And again, we've got the ATI 3D Rage. LT Pro um, on board, which is pretty decent. This is a pretty decent retro motherboard setup, so I'm excited to see what this can do. 
uh, although it seems to be taking a while to do anything at this point. Uh, one thing I did notice about this board is it's got these little bay here, and I'm honestly not familiar with this particular input. It looks like something could potentially seat there over those chips, but uh, I don't know what that is. So if you know, uh, drop me a, a comment and, and hit me up. I'd love to know what that is for. Um, I'm just honestly not familiar. Hadn't seen that probably in a really long time. I might have known it and forgotten it. Um, I do see it's got an input on the back that I'm not quite familiar with either. So if you recognize this, I'm intrigued to know what that is for. Um, at this point, it's loading up all this hardware and might take a little while. So once this is set up, we'll take a look at our specs. Okay, so we can confirm the board is out of a compact. Um, unfortunately, I did not note what the model was, but uh, hopefully I was able to, oh shoot, I tried to get in the setup, but I missed it. So we'll have to get in the system and take a look at our, uh, hopefully our stats from there. All right, so I had some trouble getting it to Windows 98, but I was able to get in a setup, which is just as good. Uh, so everything looks to be pretty 1998, which is nice. Um, looks like... Interesting. P USB legacy keyboard support disabled. That's interesting because there's no USB on the board itself. So, I mean, it has USB capability, which is interesting. Um, onboard monochrome video mode. Wow, so you can actually run monochrome on this. That's actually really cool. Um, so my question is, does it give me any processor information? And it does not appear that it does, uh, which is an odd, really strange kind of um, really strange kind of setup. Uh, compacts are a little weird that way. So hopefully we can get this one to get to Windows 98 here so we can actually see what our processor specs are. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. It seems to go all the way to Windows 98 and then it hangs up. Um, I have had issues with this hard drive booting to Windows 98, so we may just have to swap hard drives. But let's at least see if we can get there. So, not super helpful. We've got an AMD K6 3D processor, 320 megs of RAM, so just about what I had figured. But it doesn't give us a speed, so I'm a little bit bummed about that. Um, I don't know at this point. I got it into safe mode. I couldn't quite get it all the way to Windows 98, which I'm not terribly worried about. Just wondering. this point at this point this is the best we're probably gonna know um, so we know it's a k6 which we already knew um, we'll just have to try and get another bootable hard drive and see if it'll boot all the way to Windows and give us a proper speed reading on our AMD k6 so just looking at uh, the motherboard overall as we've got it powered down now I did want to note that the heatsink is quite warm to the touch. Again, no fan on it or anything. Power supply is just leaning over here. So um, something to consider if you're bench testing your motherboard like I am uh, is just the heat. Um, I do have some fans laying around, some stuff I could put on it. But, you know, at this point it was such a short test, it's not going to compromise the K6 that's on here. Um, and we know everything is working. So going to forgo hooking up another hard drive at this point. We'll come back to this at a later date uh, to do a, a follow-up on the MOBO. But uh, really excited, though. We've got a ATI 3D graphics unit here in a K6. Uh, I do actually have another K6 board. So we're going to get that put together and see what we can do with that little one. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and if you look forward to the other videos I'll be doing on AMD products and or anything retro computing or computing in general, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, drop me a comment with any of your thoughts or suggestions. I'd love to hear from you. I do respond to all comments. And once again, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.